Hello YouTube, this is Railroader Davis here with a review of the Broadway Limited Paragon 1 J1E Hudson. I picked this engine up at the Timonium Train Show in Baltimore, Maryland. I paid about $195 for it, which is a good price because it was made quite a few years ago and it's still a very good engine. So starting off with the details, if you take a look at the front, we have a... Dummy coupler, so a nice, I'm not sure if you can see that, but a nice open pilot. You have an operating headlight, two non-functioning marker lights, separately applied handrails. I don't know what those things are in there, but maybe someone in the comments can tell me. Going up to the top of the locomotive, you have your smokestack, your bell, your domes, your whistle over on that side I'm not sure what exactly that is but on this side you have your dynamo and your safety valves moving alongside the locomotive you can see you have your two your four front wheels your six drive wheels and your four trailing truck wheels making this locomotive a 464 a Hudson so if you take a look down here, you will see all the valve gear detail. So you have your eccentric crank here. It's just done very, very nicely for how old this engine is. You have your steam chest, some piping here. You have, uh, I think that's an air tank. You have a pump, the back truck, the number boards, uh, a window with cab figures. And then you have the start of the tender. If you take a look on top of the cab, you can see, well, if I can get it here, the, the hatch is open on the top of the locomotive. And the details are pretty much the same on the other Moving side. Moving on to the tender, it has a nice coal load. It's not real coal, but for the time that it was built, it's still pretty darn good. So the camera focuses on that. You can see all the rivets down the side of the tender. Here we have New York Central in crisp lettering, besides that one blemish. But again, I bought this used at a train show, so that's not a big deal. You have your six wheeled trucks, your ladder steps, and you, and on the front of the tender, well, you, I'm not sure how well you can see this on video, but there is two doors on the inside of there. That has a little bit of coal spilling out. That's a really nice detail. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera. So you have your railings to the, there, there. So you can see it's the same detail on the other side. On the underside, it's pretty well detailed. So you have pickups on all six wheels of the tender. You have your brakes. You turn around to the back. You have... A uh, marker light, uh, you have 14,000 gallons of water, 28 tons of coal, and the locomotive number is 5395. This locomotive does not have an operating reverser light, and the coupler is sat underneath this little plate. So that is a bit frustrating when you're trying to uncouple on a couple cars. So in the back of the cab, you have some. Oh, shoot, sorry. You have some pretty nice detailing. So you can see in there, you have all, none of it's painted, but for ha having it be molded, it's pretty darn good. So you have your uh, fireman figure and your engineer figure. Oh, never mind. You only have a fireman figure. Huh, didn't see that. Then, so how you hook these two locomotives up is, give me a sec, let me get that out of the way. You have a... Underneath the deck plate, you have a little thing that is a six-pin adapter, and you have a six-pin on the tender that plugs into the locomotive. So that is the review of the Broadway Limited J1E Hudson.